I think it just must have been like at school when we were like when we were studying about other countries and other cultures, other religions and stuff like that. How this was all very new to me. Like I'm I'm raised in a in quite the Christian household, but as soon as like there are other options out there and there are other people that are doing something else, it was quite the eye opener. Yeah. I mean I, I think I realized it when I was like 10 or 12 maybe that you know it was just such a small place to be in. Yeah I'm not sure like at what age, but probably uh, like a teenager, like a early teens when I like when you see like uh, films and other videos from the US and Europe, you kind of feel like those are kind of like uh, other worlds. Something that could never be here, because like it won't happen here. So, so it feels like everything from the US feels like a, like a Hollywood film. I remember it very specifically. It was a very strange week when I was in the eighth grade and uh, I was looking at footage from Warp Tour and I thought to myself like Jesus Christ these these kids in the States they get this every single summer they get a full day of shows from bands they love and at that point I had seen one band live and it was fucking Whitesnake so I was extremely isolated and up until that point I had lacked perspective and it hit me like a moving train in the eighth grade. I really thought everything was fucked because I, I realized like I couldn't get out of Iceland. Living in a country like this that's so far away from like everything else, uh, like we don't get bands very often here, especially uh, in our like sort of taste in music. Like every time you would see your favorite band play Europe, you would never see an Icelandic date. And so it was a very regular thing for us to like go to neighbor countries here in Europe, like Denmark or something, to go see uh, other bands. Growing up in Iceland in general and being a teenager in like middle, middle 2000s, it's a um, kind of grow up in a community where if you're into you're into music or any of the stuff that you prefer or like you tend to kind of gradually find your own style or the stuff that you listen to or whatever you like in general you somehow tend to come with the terms uh, to the terms that uh, if you find music or stuff that you like for example like you will you kind of realize that if you want to seek it out you need to get out of the country because the country itself is small, isolated, it's not that many people that live here and it kind of comes to the fact that like if you want something to be here you somehow need to kind of make it yourself. It was very evident and uh, it became quite clear to me very soon that I wanted to leave, like that I wanted, I wanted to do something that would ensure that I wouldn't need to stay here forever. It was back in 2001 uh, when I saw the movie Rockstar, uh, stars Mark Wahlberg, uh, that I realized that, oh yeah, oh, so that's the thing that I want to be doing. Like, minus the drugs and, and all that, but yeah, I wanted to stand on stage. I wanted to go around the world, sleep in a bus. I didn't care. It also kind of explains how, or why we have so much art here. Like, it's the, it's the need to want to create something in the absence of that thing that you want. But it was like later later years we started like uh, good friends of ours they started to book the, those bands themselves. Uh, bands like uh, Home Wrecker and, and Cult Leader and stuff like that. And uh, uh, so it was sort of like well I guess their bands are not coming here so we might as well get them ourselves to, to Iceland. You know, thankfully, a few years later, I was able to start touring DIY with my friends and I was able to experience, you know, different cultures. And of course, it's not directly connected just to the United States and Warp Tour, but that was kind of the, the thing that hit me. Cause, you know, when you're a kid and you 
you're raised in a certain element that just becomes your nature and you don't really necessarily realize what else is around you.